All right, guys, so for today's video, we're going to talk about how not to package a show on DVD. This is the bane of my existence. When I look back on this set I have, I just get horrible feelings. I, I think about what I had to go through to find this stuff, how difficult it was, and how, quite frankly, annoyed I was at the time. Uh, there was a silver lining, and, um, you know, we're going to get right into it. So... The show in question is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon. Now, when I was little, I caught the tail end of the show, and I would see reruns all the time, but it ended up becoming a show I love. But don't worry, you don't have to be a fan of the Ninja Turtles for this video. This is about physical media more than anything, so you're going to see how badly packaged this was, how confused I got, the countless hours I would waste on the internet trying to find out if the season existed or if the show just stopped, and then how crazy the releases get physically. They're just nuts. So... The story goes, I was working at a thrift shop years ago, and I got to see everything before it hit the floor, and then I saw that there was the Ninja Turtles cartoon on DVD, so when I saw this, I was like, oh, this is awesome. Now, I wasn't even under the impression that this uh, came out completely on DVD, I just found, uh, ironically, season, what I guess is season one. Now, the funny thing is, I think that they actually have episodes out of order, and they include episodes from like season four or five on here as a bonus. Uh, never seen bef bonus episodes or something like that. Or maybe they were seen before on TV. But regardless, I got this. I brought it home and I put it on around 2009 and I was having a great time. I don't know if this has a year when it came out. 2004 is when this DVD came out. So I said to myself, man, that was so fun revisiting this cartoon. There's so many fun characters, especially, uh, you know, from the time. There's a character, there's a Freddy Krueger character in here that's creepy Eddie, which is really funny. So I picked this up, and I'm like, okay, let me see if I can find the next one. Mind you, a lot of these had already come out by this point, so I didn't know where to look. I would try eBay, and so I looked at this, and I was like, uh, okay, Ninja Turtles, this is just a season, this is a season, I guess, or kind of a season. Uh, okay, so I got that. And so then I think I went to Walmart, and sure enough, I saw this. Ninja Turtles, Volume 2. And I'm like, okay, that's great. Volume 2, that's exactly what I need. So, and apparently some of these episodes are out of order on all these all these DVDs, which is another whole thing, right? The fact that all the episodes are out of order on some, and apparently there's some that are completely missing, and then they show up randomly on later ones. So, you know, I got Volume 2, and I was like, okay, we're on the right track. You know, and a lot of these were very basic, you know, just one DVD for this. But uh, just remember the word volume, okay? We get volume two, we bring that home. Everything in life is good. So then I remember going to Toys R Us because Toys R Us used to have a big DVD section and obviously they weren't selling like horror movies and stuff like that. And this was pre-Scream Factory. I was, a, I was 17, 18 at the time when this was going on. I actually found this, volume three. Now this was the last one I would see in the store for quite some time, just to give you guys context on this. Uh, so I picked up volume three. And it says contains 12 episodes from the series. Again, I don't know that these episodes are actually in order or anything like that. So far, so good. You're probably saying, Christian, what's the problem? Just wait. So there we go. Volume 3. Awesome. So then I tried to look for Volume 4 in the store. And I wasn't really having much luck finding Volume 4. So then I went on eBay. Typed in uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Volume 4. No problem. Then we found this one. Volume 4. Same thing, 12 episodes, all that good stuff. Now, obviously, when you think about shows, you come in, they come in what's known as seasons. Like, this is the end of the season, the season's ending here, blah, 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 that sort of thing. Well, they weren't doing that for this. Uh, but I didn't think nothing of it. To me, volume is just a, uh, if you looked up in the thesaurus, the word season and under movies, volumes could be up under there as well. That sort of thing. It's no harm, no foul. Got this. Then I was done with that, and I was like, well, maybe they put out a season five. Sure enough, they did. <laughs> okay. We picked up season five. Everything's hunky-dory. I love the artwork on this one because Raph is just a badass. Uh, this is volume five. Excuse me. And this is what's funny. Is this a recycled case or not? Make up your mind. Two of these have the, the recycled things, and the other ones don't. Okay. Last but not least... We've got volume six. There we go. So I'm getting my Ninja Turtles on. I'm blasting through the show. I'm having a great time. I'll never forget it was summer 2010. It was all turtles for me. I was just watching these shows all the time. 
All right, so this is where things seem like they're in good stance. You got these on the shelf. I'll never forget, I'm putting these up on the shelves, and I've got my Ninja Turtles. Uh, everything's great. I've got my volumes one through six. And I remember at the time, I had bought volume five and six when I was either at the tail end of four or I finished four. So I bought five and six, I think close together, maybe like in the same couple days. I think I bought five, and then I was like, okay, I know I'm going to want to get volume six. So let me go ahead and just order volume six. Makes sense, right? Well, a little while goes by. And I'm done with volume six. And I know that the show is obviously not over because the show went from like 87 to 1996. That's a lot of episodes. So then I go on eBay and I'm trying to find volume seven. Nothing pops up. Can't find volume seven. Uh, I said to myself, is my memory wrong? Are there not more sh episodes in this? Then after about three or four days of searching for this crap, I gave up. And I'm saying to myself, okay, so apparently the show is just not available after this certain time frame of the show. It never got put out on DVD. Well, this is where I learned that they decided to completely screw around with the volumes to, to uh, seasons. Because one, of these, one day I was on Cinemasker.com. Uh, now, my brother had shown me the Angry Video Game Nerd years ago, and he was like, Christian, he did an episode on Texas Chainsaw Massacre for Atari. You're going to love this guy. Watch this. So I watched it, and I, of course, I did love it. It was very funny to me. <laughs> and so I see this episode on, you know, the, the Ninja Turtles cartoon on DVD. After volume six, for some reason, they decided to swap it from volumes to seasons. So then I had to look up Ninja Turtles Season 4. Now, mind you, at this point, I had no room for DVD space. Not that I do now. So this is exactly how I wanted them to come out. DVD cases. Here is Season 4. A five-disc set. So after Volume 6, you go back to Season 4. And that's chronologically the next release. I get this in the mail. I said, what in God's name is this? Season 4 comes in a big plastic case with a Raphael head sticking out a full inch. You gotta undo this. Then you pull this out. You can't put that, look at look at that. Putting that on the shelf would be, <laughs> it's, I have it on my shelf, but it's ridiculous. Okay, so then you could just take that out maybe and just stick it in like this. Then what the hell is this? It's just a sheet of paper, there's nothing on it. And so now these are flooded with discs. Um, and I'm sure all of these have episodes from previous seasons on it or stuff like that. And I was like, man, I don't have much DVD room right now. I hope they don't continue to do this stuff and shove these uh, episodes randomly on the order and give us these big fat discs. And they swap to seasons. So you had to go from season volume six to season four. And then sure enough, I ordered season five when I got done with season uh, four. Now, when you order something on eBay, sometimes they'll just give you a digital shot front image of the front. And so I'm thinking to myself, okay, it looks like season five looks like a pizza box for the DVD cover. Oh, that's cool. The mail comes. It's even thicker. I get this in the mail. Season five is an actual goddamn pizza box it's an actual pizza box I'm like what <laughs> now for a second it's kind of cool but it's like oh dude you want to watch Ninja Turtles oh, let me get my DVDs out alright let me open up the pizza box uh, let me get this out of the way alright hold on dude I'm getting it I'm getting it I'm getting it <laughs> look at this and then they got fish and on the pizza mushrooms and cookies and then just a nice pepperoni right there so they continued to get gaudier and gaudier for the dvd cases uh so like every time i watch season five i gotta open up a pizza box and pull all this crap out um actually look i forgot see look at this i forgot to put this piece of cardboard back in there so let me let me go ahead and do that so finding all this out was just, I wasted like weeks searching on eBay for this. And so then it continued. Hold on. See, see, you see how ridiculous this is? Look at, hey, this is forward thinking though. 
They were doing the uh, slip things, like on steel books with art on them. So that's forward thinking, and then it's a pain in the freaking ass to get on. All right, so that's season five. Then they decided, okay, let's cut the crap. And then they put them back on regular DVD cases. Here's season six. Awesome. Uh, there you go. Got two DVDs in there. No harm, no foul. Then I looked for season seven. I found this at Toys R Us. And I guess season seven was a big-ass season because it's one of those thick DVD cases. And, of course, these things, they just they, they fall right out. They're, they're pretty useless, so I just set it in. I set them in there. Um, what are you going to do? It took me months to find all this crap. Uh, season 8, I actually bought this right when it came out. Here's season 8 with the slip. No slip, no dip. Season 9 had a lenticular slip, which is cool. And then finally, I got uh, the last season right when it came out. Because there was a huge delay for this one. Then season 10 finally came out. So I wasted weeks of my time trying to find all this crap. And if you want to have the whole show on DVD, this is what it has to look like. All right, so what eventually happened was dealing with all those DVD cases just annoyed me so much that when this came out, I said, let me just screw it. Let me get this because I don't like to stream cartoons. I want my bit rate, I want my low frequency bit rates, whatever it is, my low quality to be perfectly even. <laughs> so when this came out, I was like, screw it. Let me get this and just call it a day. So they put out this budget release. I got this for $25 at Walmart at one point. I don't see it at the store anymore. The entire show's in here. All right. So now I can go and order. And I believe they actually fixed the order of the show on this. So if you want to watch it in actual order, I think they, they fixed this because these are all. Uh, yeah, I think these are all in order. From what I can remember, I mean, look at this. Of course, discs are still falling out on here. But, um, I mean, what are you going to do? So, I can't even... This DVD casing is, is insane. Look at this. There's just loose discs in here. But anyway, there's all the discs, okay? So, the entire show is on that. So, this is how you don't package uh, a DVD show. A, DV, a show on DVD. You go from volumes to seasons... You make packaging that takes up way more room, and then you decide to go back to a simpler form. It's just it was it was it was the bane of my existence for a while, guys. So, and I can't even get I need to do another video just on how crappy DVD packaging is for shows. But anyway, so I ended up getting this, and when I watch the show, I'll just use this instead of the other ones. But if you guys enjoyed that video, looking back at one of the most ridiculous uh, DVD sets on DVD. Uh, and you're a fan of TV shows on DVD, stick around because we're going to look soon at every show I have on DVD, the good old days. See you guys next time. Huge, giant thank you to all of my Patreon supporters. Without you guys, this would not be possible. To get behind the scenes photos, videos, music, private live streams, and much more, you can subscribe to my Patreon for as little as a dollar a month. Thank you to my patrons. Thank you.